Welcome back, boys, to the Delta State Dynasty. We are coming off a huge win on the road in College Station, but we have an even harder matchup this week. We are playing the number one team in the country, the Iowa State Cyclones. Luckily, is it is at home. We will be hosting them, and man, are we going to have our hands full today. On the bright side, we do have some upgrades for Brett Favre. We're going to go Road Warrior for him. Uh, for our DC, I think we're going to keep we need to stop the run so we're gonna go row close uh for the dc and then again ball security we're not trying to fumble at all uh so those will be our upgrades for uh this week this week in recruiting nothing's really changed we have some people we are in the lead for especially the 70 overall tight end the only problem with him is he is blocking majorly we also have this three-star possession wide receiver from florida he is 5'9 203 uh, not much scouting done on him yet. He doesn't look great, but the B speed could be pretty good if we have a slot guy who can catch and is fast. I will definitely take him. But for the most part, it is a waiting game right now on recruiting. We are still early in this. Nobody committed after our big win at Texas A&M, so we're not stressing. Uh, but we would like to get some of these guys committed, you know, pretty soon. Iowa State looks dirty a plus overall a plus offense and an a defense they were scoring 50 points a game with over 560 yards of total offense only allowing 223 yards of defense that is third in the country we do have a better pass offense but only by nine yards and the rush offense 300 yards a game we i feel like we are in trouble because we give up a lot of rush yards a game their quarterback today is Brock Purdy. Look at those stats, man. They do not throw the ball a ton, it doesn't look like, but it does look like they run the ball a lot in just two games. 301 yards in two games. Whew, we're going to have our hands full today on defense. Obviously, they have the shaky bars. They have a 99 offense against our 65 defense. We are definitely in trouble. We're going to be going with the green on top with the helmets and jersey. And then white on the bottom with our pants, socks, and shoes. Let's get into this game. Can we at least keep it close? I am terrified to play the number one team in the nation. Dude, look look, look at their ranks for everything, man. Oh, at least their rush defense is not great. 58, but <laughs> giving up five points a game. Oh, my God. All right, we kind of have a crowded house. A lot of people probably came after our win last week thinking that we could get it done this week. Guys, we have to stop an offense with Brock Purdy and Brees Hall. Good luck, Statesman. And we are underway here in the Delta, kicking it off to the Cyclones. Let's see if we can even compete in this game. If we compete, I'll be very happy. Yeah, Brees Hall, he's the guy that we're going to have to watch out for. They have a very dynamic offense, but they do typically run the ball a little bit more than they pass the ball. Oh, turn around. Okay. Make a tackle. Push around the bounds. I got it. Brees Hall is going to break a lot of tackles. He is also good in the NFL in real life this year. So we're playing two NFL caliber guys in the backfield. To be fair, when I scheduled this team, I did not expect Iowa State to be number one at the time. I didn't expect Ohio State to lose to Nebraska last week. Uh, but I guess it, you know, shows that how fun the simulation is. Brees Hall has so much room to run. I thought he stepped out of bounds. That's why I kind of stopped. Man, that sucks. Oh, good read there. Gets him in the backfield for a loss of four. Pretty good job there by Franklin Walden. He was great last week. And he's showing up to play here early today. Oh, what, what was that? What was that? I'm pressing Y. I'm literally holding Y. That ball should have been picked. Not only that, but it went through my linebacker. Oh, my God. Xavier Hutchinson he was so good this year in real life and I kind of forgot he was on this team too that's another NFL caliber player this team is stacked man this team is stacked great job I covered 
the, the linebacker that I was holding, by the way, that's Franklin Walden again, just goes right up the middle. The linebacker that I was holding was not supposed to be covered there, uh, but I switched off, so pretty good job there. Let's go, dude. Gets hit in the backfield. I don't know who that was. I might have been. I don't know who that was. Number 20. I, I don't know. I'm not great with the numbers and names. But we hold the number one team in the nation to a field goal. Yes, they get down inside the 10. But that doesn't matter because they only come away with three. All right. First drive on offense. I don't care how good their defense is. We're airing it out. We got some guys that want to play. We have a we had an upset last week, so we're kind of rolling. Parker Fountain is there. He is wide open across a 50 and a great start to the day. Can we get back-to-back -back upsets? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't really have anybody. Actually. Actually. Oh, my God, Curry. We're down inside the five. What a huge play. That's called an improv, man. Improv at its finest. If you can't find the guy, you wait it out, and he will get open. Can we put it in the end zone? All right, man, we got to punch it in. Got to punch it in. And we do. What a hole. Dylan Crowder, who had such a good game last week, gets an easy hole, punches it in, in the end zone, and we are up on the number one team in the nation. We are here to shock teams. We're here to shock the college football world. I can't believe it either. After the first two games of the year where we couldn't stop anybody, our defense has looked a whole lot better. Ah, and that's an okay start. Should have stepped up there. He loves Shaw today. He's been open for most of the time, even though that pick I should have had earlier. They should have zero points. Oh, he's got a huge hole in that draw. Yeah, he had a huge hole, man. Their O-line giving us fits. Ah, I stepped off. Then I missed the tackle. Bang gets him. We go five wide for the first time today. Oh, they got so many people open. Oh my god. What what a scheme right there. That was such a good play call. I did not expect that at all. It ran all over the middle. There was nobody anywhere. Huh. That's like one of those times that you want to run man, but you can't. Because you don't have the guys to run man. Oh yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh wow. Just an easy touchdown. He just walks in. That's a tough play right there. They got, uh, we didn't call the right defensive scheme. And they make that drive look a little bit easier than the last one. Yeah, we got Crowder. We have to give it to Crowder. And a good little run right there. I think we should take this down to the second quarter. All right, boys. So after one, only down three. A lot of offense, though. I think there were a couple where we just had guys get open and Roe Carlton made some room. Let's see if we can have the same success here in a second. All right, we got a third and eight here after a run that kind of got stuffed nowhere. Let's see if we can get this first down. Caps is there if he catches it. Yes, sir. Down across the 40 and a good third down conversion there. Oh, what a throw. That was so athletic. Oh, my God. Bueller breaks the tackles, and he gets inside the 40-yard line. What a play by both Bro Carlton, who somehow made that throw. Didn't even finish, like, the follow-through, and then Lauren Mueller breaks two tackles. Holy cow. Wide open. Lauren Mueller again wide open. Over the middle, he does get smoked. But that ain't a big deal if he keeps catching the ball. Wide open again. Hank McLeod. Oh my god, man. My guys are getting obliterated. I'm surprised we hadn't let go of the football. First and goal, man. Let's get back in the end zone here. Six would be huge. Alright, man. Third down and goal. Like I said, I really want six here. But a turnover. You know what I'm going to do? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Jump ball. Go get it, Parker. Okay, or, you know, don't even try for it. I just realized Roe Carlton's stats. Those are really good. We're going to take our three. Oh, oh, well, uh, if, oh, God. <laughs> if, 
if uh, Brees Hall would have kept it there, he would have got smoked. But um, Brock Purdy pulled it, and he got a first down. Oh, Frank Walt. Dude. Oh, and he got it. Oh, my God. He put it on the ground. Barnes, go get it. Go get it. Oh, my God. A defensive touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Please tell me he was not down. I'll cry. I will literally cry in this video. The, are you serious? I think that ball was out. No, please. I'm going to cry, dude. He was down. He was down. What a turn of events. That is horrible. Got to get a stop here. Yes, we did. We got him to throw it away. And, man, our defense playing against the number one team in the country. Come on, man. All right, let's get some work done. Let's get some work done on this drive. Let's go score. Yep, that's our guy, Dylan Crowder. Oh, my God. He's got shoulder checked hard. Uh, Someone's going to be open here. No, no. Go run. Run, just run. Just run. What a run, man. 17 yards on the ground there. We still got over two minutes left. A field goal would be huge. I just don't understand what got into our defense. I just don't get it. Oh, he got sacked. I didn't see him. I didn't get it out in time. I think there was somebody, like, the slant across the middle was open. But I wasn't looking at him initially. And they got to me quick there. He's going to do it. He's not going to catch it. Wasn't picked, so I guess it's not the end of the world. If we, if it did get picked, it was just a throw and punt, basically. So we're going to punt. They're going to have a minute about left. Oh, I opened. Uh, well, I took my eye off him because I thought the quarterback was going to get sacked, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, good tackle there. Oh, wow. Oh, come on, tackle him. Come on, tackle him. Damn, they're going to have about 21 seconds, but they are inside or right at the 20. What a throw. What a route. There was no one over there. They're inside the 10. They got like two or three plays to go for this touchdown. Oh, what a throw by Brock Purdy. Wow. I didn't think he was open, but he just floated it over the top of the safeties. And that is a touchdown right before the half. Sucks that we couldn't stop him there. But a really good drive by them. All right, the good news is we are going to get the ball right after half. We're just going to run it with Crowder. Not expecting much. We're going to take this down. We're going to get the ball back. And we're going to have to score on the first drive. All right, the first half is in the book. We have two good things. Our defense has played pretty well, only giving up 17 points. But they have 225 yards of offense, so they have gotten the yards. We've just made stops when we needed to. The other good thing is we haven't turned the ball over, and that's all you can ask for. Damn. <laughs> I mean, I was looking for Parker Fountain. And he wasn't open. And I tried to just get out of get out of dodge there. There was nothing I could do. He made a beeline for me. And uh, we get sacked. We're going backwards. And that's not what we want to see. Parker, please go get it. No, there's no way. He hadn't been open all day. And that's that's been frustrating because that's the guy we want to get the ball to. All right, man. They got really good field position for this drive. Whew, this could get out of hand quickly if we don't get a stop. Run the screen. Oh, my God. Please pick it off. Gavin Doty, I need the hands to be there. I need a pick. God bless. We read it like a Sunday newspaper. But it doesn't matter when you can't hold on to the ball. Oh, wow. Walden didn't get the animation. What a throw by Brock Purdy. And Brees Hall comes down with it. 
Oh, he's got so much room. So much room. Somebody get him down, please. Oh, man. We're getting torched now. This offense is showing why they're the best in the country at what they do. Oh, he's so open. He almost got up and tried to run that in. Tariq Milton, man, we haven't covered him. Xavier Hutchinson has not made any noise today, but Tariq Milton has. Our, I mean, our offensive or our defensive line just got manhandled. Manhandled. <laughs> All I look is everybody is just getting pushed back into the end zone. Another good drive by them. Defense is kind of kind of getting tired. They've been on the field uh, pretty much all day. So finally, Parker Fountain gets open, but he loses the ball, and Iowa State recovers. I don't think this could get any worse, man. Yeah, it was definitely out too. Definitely out. All right, third down and seven. They are in field goal range. But we could hold him to three. It's one of the screens. And he's Brock Purdy just gets lit up. Doesn't have time to throw. And a good stop by our defense there to hold him to three points. I don't know what we have to do, but we really need to switch something up here. We're going to start off with a run because the pass has not worked at all since we came out of the half. And I would say that's a pretty good start, at least going forward. And that is right to the safety that creeped up. And that is going to be a pick for Roe Carlton. We talked about the no turnovers. We have turned it over on back-to-back -back drives here. Just a good play there. I think Roe Carlton wanted to get it over the top. No cigar. All right, guys, third and ten. Can our defense get another stop, even though they've been on the field what feels like this whole third quarter? Let's see if we can do it here. Oh, uh, you won't? Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Look, I don't. It, it wasn't pretty, but it got done. And Xavier Hutchinson with his, only his second catch today. But we hold him to a field goal again, and let's see if he can make this one. I've been in the third quarter for an hour. Get left. Did that? It got in somehow. Oh my god. Okay. You be open. Oh, Lord. What a grab. That dude came diving forward to knock that ball down. But he threads the needle. Roe Carlton, great throw there. Hey, McLeod was open. And he just decided not to catch it, I guess. You're there. Lucas Caps is there. That's a great throw. Great catch. And a great run after it. So... That is, we needed that. We needed that big. Someone get open, please. No? All right, Ro. Oh, my God. He's still up. He got close to that first down marker. Holy cow. What a run by Ro Carlton. All right. Three quarters in the books. It was a seven-point game. It is now a 20-point game after the third quarter. We put up no points in that quarter. And we're going to have to try at least make it more manageable we're gonna have to at least you know make it look a little better than it is right now parker fountain's open good catch there man first and goal at the six of out can we punch it in the end zone um just roll out just roll out you got your guy and he dropped it who would have thought not me you're there you're there just get how do we keep dropping the ball? <laughs> oh my goodness. Two drops in the end zone that drive. That is that is upsetting. Okay. No one's going to cover Tariq Milton? Nobody. Alright. That was cool, guys. Good job. It just got all sorts of bent up there. Um. Um, somebody? Okay. Thank you, Easley. Thank you for tackling him. Okay. Dude, I don't know what the spread was, but I think Brock Purdy knew what it was. 
And he's trying to cover it. Because surely it was greater than 20 points. Okay, he's going to take off. Doty. Get a tackle. That's an outstanding tackle. Gavin Doty. Going after him. Wow, what a throw. Brock Purdy just stayed in there, took the hit, and just threw a strike. We haven't been able to cover Milton all day. Holy cow, what a throw. Well, I don't... <laughs> what a drive, man. What a drive by them. I threw everything I had at them. I blitzed when I needed to. Or when I thought I needed to. And they just torched us that drive. Yikes. So, uh, we've been outscored 20 to nothing this quarter. Or this half, I should say. We haven't scored since, like, the second quarter at some point. So, I would really just like to put points on the board. Because we've been outscored 27 nothing since it was 10-10. There we go. Parker found over the middle. And, yes, he's been quiet. Okay, he's going to get back up because he won't get on the ground. All right. Not bad there. 5 for 61 for Parker Fountain today. Um, yeah, this isn't going to go well. Yep, nope. Nobody open. And we're obviously going to go for it. But, uh, offense has uh, kind of stalled out today. Definitely stalled out today. And we're going to turn the ball over on downs. Iowa State today just walked in and uh, showed us why we're a little school from Mississippi that's not ready to play with the big boys. We had some momentum after uh, last week, but uh, they showed us this week that we weren't, uh, that we're just not ready. And they're going to still just try to put us on. Oh, man. And that is going to do it. We get bent in the second half. They outscored us 27 0, and it was tied at 10 10 at one point. They're the number one team in the country for a reason. That's probably the best team we definitely played all year, defensively and offensively. Brock Purdy was just elite. He was so elite. But um, we had some bright spots, though. Uh, but we are going to lose. We're going to fall to 1 and 3. And uh, it's going to be time for conference play now. So, yes, we did lose 37 to 10. But I will say that we only held them to 390 total yards. Uh, less than 400 is awesome, so we'll definitely take that. Uh, the two turnovers were huge. They got points on both of those drives, and we turned it over. Roe Carlton was just okay. 16-29, and 29, 220 yards in that one pick. Andy he did get sacked four times. Our one touchdown came from Dylan Crowder. He had 46 yards on the ground on 11 attempts, so the average still pretty good for um, uh, air raid offense. Then finally, nothing to show really on the receiving side of things. Parker Fountain led with 5 for 61, uh, but the drops were bad too. We had six drops, and two of them were touchdowns, so that one hurts as well. Um, but it seems to be a lot of guys are getting involved in the passing game. Defensively, Franklin Walden has really felt like our best player. Um, and then I will say that Gavin Doty had a couple good plays as well. So with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, make sure to turn notifications on so you never miss when I upload this series. This has been a lot of fun, and it looks like you guys are enjoying it as well. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.